All right, people, we're going to be looking at how to do a parabola in vertex and intercept form. So what I've got here is like I've got like two sets of points here. So the red one, uh, the red points, I'm actually going to use uh, vertex form because it's going to look like this. And for the blue one, I will be using intercept form. All right. So just to show you the two different types of equations that you actually have. So can you see the, the vertex one? This is how you use the vertex form and that's for the intercept. Now the reason I'm using vertex and intercept is because the point right here, like if you, if you think about a parabola, right? You know how if I sketch it like this, this point is actually turning because the parabola is kind of like going down and then going up. So this point here is known as the vertex and that's why we're going to use the vertex formula for that. Now these two here, the blue one, the blue one looks like this, the parabola looks something like um, something like that, right? We don't really know where where the vertex is, but what we do know is we know what these two things are, they're called intercepts. All right, so the two formulas that you need to kind of remember, the vertex form, the formula looks like this, A, x minus h squared plus v all right now you might see this completely different with other people like other teachers actually do it in a completely different way as well but this is the one i prefer using and as for the blue one which is called the intercept um, formula is a uh, x minus uh, i'm just going to write this as x1 x minus x2 okay so just to kind of get get an idea the x1 here is this value where the intercept is actually happening. So it's at 10. So one of the values here is gonna be 10. And as for the x2, that's that value there because that's the second intercept, which is at 20. Yeah, so that's what that's basically what the intercept method is. As for the vertex one, I use a different color, the h value, uh, that does not work very well. Let's go with this, the h value, for the vertex is the three. So whatever the vertex is, so in this case it's three, four. So we're actually gonna take, and the V value is gonna be the Y value of the vertex, okay? So just kind of writing that down. So H is the X value of vertex, and then V is Y value Of vertex okay so if we look at this first I'm gonna do the red one here first um, the red one has a vertex of 3 4 so I'm just gonna write that down like this I'm gonna put down 3 4 because that's the vertex right so then I can say that uh, H is equal to 3 and V is equal to 4 okay so then I can write my equation as y equals a x minus 3 squared plus 4. So as you can see, nothing's really changed. All I've done is I've replaced uh, h with 3 and I've replaced uh, v with 4. So that's all I've done here. But I've got to actually figure out what the value for a is. All right. And if you look at it in the vertex, um, in the intercept form, and I'll actually finish the vertex one first so you can kind of get, a, get an idea. If we go back to the diagram, you can't use the vertex again because we've already put the vertex in, but you need one more point. And in this case, we're lucky. We've actually got two points to work from. Okay, we've got eight, eight, or two, two, negative two and positive eight. So we can use either one of these points to figure out what A is. I'm gonna choose eight, eight, uh, I'll actually choose negative two, eight. All right, just so I can show you what it looks like. So when I choose negative two, eight, I just write it down like this. I'm gonna choose negative two, eight to figure out what A is. Negative two is the x value and the eight is the y value, all right? So then what I'm gonna do is, because there's a y here and there's an x here, I'm gonna replace them with eight and negative two. So I'm gonna end up with positive eight equals positive eight equals a multiplied by now x is equal to minus two 
minus 3 squared plus 4. All right, everything as it is. The only thing I've replaced is I've replaced x and y. So with using that, now I've got to figure out what a is. So the first thing I do is bring 4 to this side. When I bring 4 to this side, it becomes minus 4. And I've got all of this is now equal to a. And I've got negative 2 minus 3. That's going to be negative 5 squared. 8 minus 4 is positive 4 a and then negative 5 squared is 25 and so what I've got is a is equal to 4 over 25 now because I've got the a value I can actually write down what this equation is so if I go and write y is equal to instead of a I'm gonna write 4 over 25 and I'm just gonna rewrite this whole equation again um, which part where can I show I'm gonna do this part entirely again it's just going to come here all right so that's going to become x minus 3 squared plus 4 okay so let's actually see if this is the correct answer because when we go to Desmos and we draw the graph the graph should actually touch all three points all right so what we're going to do is go to Desmos and I'm going to type just going to get rid of these points for now so it was y equals 4 over 25 brackets x minus 3 squared plus 4. Just going to change the color of that. So can you see that how the parabola is actually going through those three points now? So that's 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 how you do intercept form. So if you want to do intercept form, you need to get the, you need to find out whether sorry not the intercept form vertex form. You've got to find out where the vertex is, and then what you do is you go back to your formula, you substitute the vertex in there, and then grab a point any point from the red graph. So you could use negative two eight or you could use eight eight. It doesn't matter. Either one will give you the same answer. All right, and then you substitute it uh, in this step. And if you keep carrying on, you actually work out what A is. And that's it. I'm going to show you now how to do the intercept form. So with the intercept form, let's see. We've all already uh, shown like the two, um, the intercepts, right? Because it's at 10 and 20. So we're going to write this as Y equals to A, X minus 10, and X minus 20. Now we need to find, use a point along this parabola to actually figure out what a value is. And can we use 10 and 0? We can't use it because we've already used the 10 there. And we can't use 20, 0 as well because we've already used that there as well. So the only point that we can use is this one here, which is 12, negative 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down 12, negative 2. And then underneath it, we're going to write down x and y, because what we're going to do is replace y with negative 2 and replace x with positive 12. So when we do this, we're going to get y, not y, sorry, negative 2. So negative 2 equals a, and then we're going to get 12 minus 10, 12 minus 20, and you're going to get negative 2 equals a, 12 minus 10 is 2, 12 minus 20 is negative 8. So far, so good. So negative 2 equals a. Uh, 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. And then a is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 16. <clears throat> now you can simplify that, or you can actually leave it as negative 2 over negative 16 as well. It doesn't really matter. But we always like to simplify, so we're just going to put that in the calculator. we got 0 0.125 so you can actually ha have it as a decimal point but the best thing is always do it as a fraction so if you just click on f to d that actually changes the decimal to a fraction so we've got a is equal to 1 over 8 so that means our equation now is going to be y is equal to 1 over 8 because that's what that a value was and we're going to take 
this entire thing here and put it here. So we're going to get x minus 10 and x minus 20. All right, so let's actually put it in um, Desmos and see whether it actually works out. So those are my three points there. I think it was y is equal to 1 over 8, and then x minus 10, x minus 20. There we go. So can you see that, how the parabola is actually going through those three points? So those are basically the two um, formats, like the two methods that you can use for finding out what a para equation of a parabola is. So you can use a vertex form. So vertex form is like, works with that. So where you, where is it? There, you grab your vertex and do it. And then there's the intercept method where you grab the two intercepts and then do it again. Okay. So basically, going back to you, is that anytime you want to actually draw a parabola, right? All you need is like two points, that's all. If you have the vertex, then you need another point, that's it. But if you are doing intercept and you don't have the vertex, then you choose the two intercepts and then grab the third point and then you're good to go. All right, this is this, this standard, this, this particular method. This method that I'm teaching here, it works for any kind of parabola. Um, but there is a third one as well, uh, but that one you've got to use a graphics calculator to actually do that. And I'll, I think I've got a video for that later on somewhere in my videos. All good? Okay, that's it guys. Thank you for watching.